Hello, one and all present here. This is Amit Kumar Singh. Welcome everyone to my 28th session. In this session, we are going to discuss advanced funnel chart. So guys, we have already spoken about what this funnel chart is all about. Uh, probably I believe that you have gone through my last video to have a more understanding about what funnel chart is all about. Once you understood what funnel chart is all about in this session, we are going to talk about advanced funnel chart. So why it is advanced funnel chart, you can easily understand once this session will end. So in this session, we are going to talk about advanced funnel chart before we try to develop advanced funnel chart, because as such, if you see in Tableau, in show me, uh, there's no, there's no chart, uh, which talks about funnel or advanced funnel chart. So that will do, uh, pro certain modification to the existing charts. So first what we'll do, we'll develop a simple bar chart. Okay. First we'll develop a simple bar chart. Okay. We'll develop a simple bar chart, uh, where again, I'm going to take two parameter here. So I'll take measure here and I'll take. Uh, dimension. So the measure, what I'm going to take is sales, the measure, what I'm going to take is sales and the dimension, what I'm going to take here is subcategory. So here I have taken subcategory as the dimension. You can take any other dimension also. You can take states or you can take segment, anything else. So let me first do on subcategory as a dimension, then probably will change. Similarly, the measure here I've taken sales. If you want, you can take profit also. So let me take my measure as sales and dimension as subcategory. We'll try to see uh, what is the possibility of the construction of the funnel chart here. So why it is called advanced funnel chart that also you'll understand. So you know what this funnel chart is all about. In the last video, I have spoken about funnel chart. In this video, we'll talk about certain advanced or certain modification of the existing form. So here sheet four is there. I let me just change the name of this. Okay. So let me just write advanced funnel chart, advanced funnel chart, copy this, change the font style, font if you want to change, color if you want to change, the position of the font if you want to change. Okay. So once you're done with this, so we are good to start. Now I'll take, because I want to create a bar chart to put sales under column and subcategory under row. So you'll get the bar chart like this. Now uh, for the funnel, you know that funnel have the more area at the top and lesser area at the bottom. So arrange this data in descending order. This is ascending order. This is descending order. Okay. Once you're done with this, okay, then what we can do. Uh, for the construction of funnel, once you have uh, something like this, this look like half sheet funnel. So what I can do here, uh, go to marks automatic, click on area. So you can see something like half shape funnel here. So uh, to get the another half shape funnel, what I can do, I can again drag the sales over column. So I get two half half shape funnel, but probably uh, to get the funnel, like if this is somewhat, if this is somewhat like this, if this is like somewhat like this, and the other one is also somewhat like this for the funnel, what I want for the funnel, I just want this position to get twist. Okay. If this is, if this is somewhat like this, if this will become somewhat like this, and this is like this, this is already like this. So if I merge both of them together, I'll get somewhat like a funnel. So how to do this, just click on the axis here, just click on the axis here. Okay. Click right click, go to edit axis, click on reversed. Okay. The moment if you click on reverse, you see the formation of funnel has already happened. Okay. If you want, you can change the color of this. Okay. Like the only half shape color is happened to go to all and then change the color. Okay. This looks better, right? So you can change the standard to entire view and you can click on presentation mode. So this looks perfect, right? This looks like a funnel. Okay. If you want, you can save your work before you save your work in Tableau public, make sure your data source is extract, change to extract. 
okay and then and then you can come click on uh, share mode and here server http public.tableau.com slash s dot slash s click on connect and then automatically your work will be saved in tableau public okay in, in case if you are doing for first time make sure you need to create your id and password in the tableau public to do that work so the way I have done this subcategory wise, I if I want, I can do the same thing, uh, maybe uh, state wise. I can do the same thing state wise, uh, arrange the data in descending order. So you will get another kind of funnel here. Okay, the same thing if you want, you can get category wise or region wise. Okay, this does not look appropriate, remove it. So you can do the same thing region wise. Make sure your data is arranged in descending order. So this again not look appropriate. So the state or or, or subcategory was looking appropriate. Clear everyone. So I hope you have understood what we have done in this session. So this much from our discussion on advanced funnel chart. I hope you like this session. So with that intention, it's time to goodbye to all of you. Take care. Bye everyone.